This is the culmination of a 10-year project that I've had, really tracing the toxic legacy of the Marcos dictatorship through the objects that they amassed, through the fictions that they spread, and really through the lives of the people that, they, that endured their dark reign, dark regime. My name is Pio Abad, uh, and uh, I'm exhibiting uh, an exhibition here at Ateneo Art Gallery called Fear of Freedom Makes Us See Ghosts. So the exhibition really takes advantage of the three rooms of the Ateneo Art Gallery to really narrate the history of the Marcoses. I think a huge part of this really, it's, it's, a, it's a memory project because, you know, when I was starting this work, I, I was always asking myself, you know, how, how do you never forget if you don't actively remember? And so this project really is an active way of remembering, you know, what happened during those dark times. And this is what we will see in Pio's works in this exhibit, the ghosts of the conjugal dictatorship of the Marcoses as viewed through the items that showcase their obscenely lavish lifestyle, jewelry, art, and millions of dollars in hidden wealth that blinded many people from seeing the brutality and oppression of their rule. Personally, I am glad that this exhibit is now here in Ateneo during this important time thanks to the efforts of the Ateneo Art Gallery and the artist himself, Pio Abad. As a university museum, the Ateneo Art Gallery offers a platform for artists ad whose advocacies and radical acts have always been on the side of the truth. During these times when fiction has been presented as truths, it is the artist's responsibility to present the voice of the honest and the factual. I won't talk about each work in the in the show because there's a you know there's a show to experience, but I wanted to talk about the last paintings in the exhibition. Um, as much as it is a painstaking recreation of the Marcos loot, I didn't want to end with the Marcos narrative. So the last works in the show are 14 paintings, um, each one dedicated to family members, friends, political leaders community organizers and activists who devoted their lives to the struggle and who devoted you know, their lives to really rebuilding democracy after the fall of the dictatorship. And I think the worry now is as, as we're faced with this precipice in our nation's history, what happens to that project? Um, I think I talk about imagination a lot and, you know, and in many ways there is, as an artist, you know, you you privilege yourself as, you know, the, the work of art is the ultimate expression of imagination. And in many ways in the show, there's all of these very intricate expressions of imagination. There's intricate drawings depicting uh, Mark, Imelda Marcus's furniture. There's uh, painstakingly produced 3D printed sculptures of jewelry. Um, there is uh, abstract paintings. There's concrete sculpture. There is a plethora um, of evidence of the artist's imagination. But for me, the, large, the larger expression of imagination is really in those who dare to imagine hope amidst um, incredible cynicism, and those who insist on creating a space for freedom amidst the direst circumstances. So thank you very much, and I hope you, I'm not sure if enjoy is the right word, but I hope you experience the exhibition and you spread the word. Thank you very much. <laughs>